Dream Chasers, what's up Ranch Gang? So this is gonna be going over basically part two. Um, so if you guys have watched part one, I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of your guys' feedback has been extremely awesome. I didn't think the video would blow up like it did. Um, but I wanna say thank you guys for supporting and just watching the video um, and all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. So uh, today we're gonna get into part two, which will be the last part of <laughs> this video series. Uh, I have a couple other videos planned, but it's nothing like this. So anyways, before we get started, DJ, please do me a favor and hit that intro. Super charge, 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 super charge. Okay, so welcome to part two. Hopefully this video won't be 30 minutes. Um, sorry the last video was so long, but that was just me kind of explaining the entire situation. Um, from beginning to end, me getting arrested in my house ready from my point of view. So um, a lot of you guys have asked, is my wife okay? Is she, like how does she feel? And all this good stuff. Uh, my wife is okay. She's not great. I mean, I think now that it's been, you know, eight months, almost nine months, she's better. But I think she'll always probably have PTSD from that happening. Um, so I asked her <clears throat> if she would be okay doing like an interview, like a POV of hers. So uh, that'll be the next video. It probably, we'll probably have a video or two after this and then I'm gonna post a video of her um, just explaining everything that's happened from her point of view because a lot of you guys are interested in that. But anyways, this video is about um, me getting, going to jail three times basically in three weeks. Um, and for a second there, I was like, am I gonna go to jail every week? Like, is this what's gonna go on? And I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of what happened. So um, I got arrested, obviously on March 31st. <clears throat> um, I got released, luckily because I had cash in my Jeep. This one. Um, <laughs> so I basically checked in took my money, did my fingerprints, my awesome, awesome mugshot, um, and then basically tried to figure out a way to get home because I didn't have a cell phone and no one that I knew had cell phones. And so luckily called my assistant at my gym and she didn't even ask questions and picked me up about 30 minutes later. Um, so that all happened. Um, now my lawyer, who I have now, her name is Leah Hausler. She's awesome. She's one of my really good friends' wives, and she's an extremely good attorney. Now, I didn't hire her immediately because I wasn't sure if I needed a lawyer or anything like that. So I just, because again, I've never been in trouble. I have, again, no clue what's going on. So <clears throat> what I did is she was offering me a bunch of free advice. So since I didn't know about my warrant the first time, she said there's a couple websites you can go on for Randall County and for Potter County. Now, if you're not from Amarillo, basically Amarillo has two counties. One is Potter County, which is like North Amarillo, and Randall County is like South Amarillo slash Canyon. So, um, <clears throat> I film videos in both counties. Now, at the time, I didn't know that I would be charged in both counties. I had zero clue, zero clue. So a week later, after I get arrested the first time, I check the websites every day, like a madman. And all of a sudden, I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. Another warrant comes up on <laughs> Randall County. Can't make this up. Another deadly conduct. I'm like, are you kidding me? Now obviously they have access to my YouTube channel. They have access to any videos that are on my cameras, which. I didn't have anything on my cameras because those videos are so old. So it was just videos from my YouTube channel. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, are they gonna come to the gym and arrest me to make like a statement? Because you have to remember, like they put it all over the news. My name is blowing up everywhere. Um, luckily, it didn't affect my gym or my clients, which that was my main concern. Um, 
because my gym is only two and a half years old. We're still like a very, very new. Um, I had a small gym before this, but that's another story. But anyway, so I'm freaking out. Like I checked the website and it was, I think it was early in the morning. So I immediately call Leah and I'm like freaking out. I'm like, are they gonna come get me? Like I'm scared to even go to my house. Like let alone my Jeep's out front. And I'm like, dude, like they know where I am. Like they can literally come arrest me just to make a statement in front of my gym. And cause again, I'm thinking of all the bad stuff. So she's like, listen, um, call this bail bond company, talk to Chase and see what you can do. I said, okay, cool. And again, still not paying Leah. She's just offered me a free advice. So um, I called Bail Bonds Place. I talked to Chase. Shout out Chase, you're awesome, I appreciate you. What's funny about that is Chase actually has watched my channel for a while. So when I met him in person, um, it was a little funny. But before that, so he's like, listen, you need to be careful driving over here. Do not drive your Jeep downtown he's like they will pull you over and they will make a big scene out of it just because that's what they're gonna want to do I said okay so um, I think Angela went with me I can't I can't remember but all I know is I went downtown I didn't drive my car I got drove and <laughs> um, you know, I'm nervous the entire time. I'm like, holy shit, like, do I need to like duck down? Like, this is like a, I, I live in, Amarillo is not a huge town. There's like 250,000 people, it's not big. And again, I'm not a celebrity by any means, but when you drive around something that looks like this, people know who you are or what the vehicle stands for. So, I was super nervous. Um, <clears throat> I go to the bail bonds place, Super cool. He's like, I'm, I'm like nervous because it's downtown. So I'm, and the, across the street is the Potter County Police Station. And I'm like, are they gonna like come at me like just walking down the street? Like Chase made it sound very real and very scary at the same time. Cause I'm like, dude, I am not trying to go back to jail. But I'm like, I'm gonna go turn myself in and I wanna handle it my way. So anyways, I get the bail bonds set up, no big deal, whatever. It's another, I think it's $1,500 was my bond again. So he's like, don't get pulled over. You're gonna drive Randall County. It's gonna probably take about an hour. You're gonna check in, do the exact same thing, do another mug shot, and then give him the bond paper, and then you'll leave and be done. I said, okay, cool. So I got all that done. <clears throat> now, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, this isn't gonna happen again. But as a, as a crazy person, because when you're in that situation, I'm checking the website every day, every day. Randall County, nothing. Randall County, nothing. Randall County, nothing. And then, uh, since my name is on the bond stuff, um, I get a call from Chase. He's like, hey, you have a warrant out for your arrest in Potter County. Yeah, there's two charges. I'm like, dude, you've got to be joking me, right? Now, <clears throat> what happened was that the we have a huge... Uh, Easter event, I'll post a picture of me dressed up as the Easter Bunny this year. And we do burnouts, it's a car show, we have a lot of fun, it's free for the community. Again, I love doing stuff for the local community. A lot of people know, like, we do burnouts at my gym. Like, we literally have a burnout pad at my gym. Anyways, here's a picture of me. So, that's the picture of me dressed as an Easter Bunny. Now, the day before <clears throat> was Friday, and Chase was extremely nervous that they were going to try and pull something and show up at the event and arrest me in front of two, 3,000 people. That's kind of what was the conspiracy. I say conspiracy because you never know, but the way that they made it, because if they would have arrested me on Saturday when the event was, like, I would have probably been stuck there for a while and maybe I would have had to stay overnight. It's just what would have happened. So, anyways, we get a call Friday. Now, 
the Potter County uh, warrant, there is several of us. So uh, I won't talk about it too much because I believe there's one person who still has the case out, but basically we were on a cruise. We weren't street racing. We were on a cruise. So I got a reckless driving charge and I got a racing on the freeway charge for a separate video. So me, my brother, who wasn't even in town, uh, David got busted, or David got an arrest warrant, and Misa, which he's basically like a brother to me, he runs illustrious auto styling, he's the one who always wraps my crazy, my car's all crazy, um, he has a shop here in Amarillo, my brother works with me at the gym, he's a general manager, he also has a shop here in Amarillo, Coyote Direct, if you guys are big in the Mustang scene, you know who he is. Um, anyways, so, I've never been to Potter County. I thought Randall County, okay, it's a jail, but it wasn't anything crazy. It freaks me out a little bit because I've never been there. The second time I went, people were extremely nice. They were their first time. <clears throat> Potter County has real, real criminals there, okay? So, we go down to Chase's Bail Bond Place, which is Freedom Bail Bonds. If you're in Amarillo, you need a bail bond, you use Freedom, ask for Chase. Um, <clears throat> so, we go there. My bail bond is $10,000, $10,000. There are people who get caught with drugs who have less bail bonds than me, as far as a monetary value. Chase looked at this and was like, dude, this does not sound right, let me call. He calls Potter County and says, hey, I need to make sure this is right. Yeah, $5,000 per charge, $5,000 per charge. <clears throat> so I pay them, so I get my bail bonds, David pays them, and Misa pays them. All three of us, we head to Potter County. Again, this is the day before the event because he's like, dude, I'm telling you they're gonna arrest you. So we go Friday, we get there, and again, I'm nervous driving over there. We take like a super low key car, we borrowed a car and drove over there. Um, we were there for about seven hours, and when I tell you, like, at Randall County, you just kind of go in and there's a little pod. No big deal. There's some chairs, there's a couple lockup places, but you're not actually in the jail. In Potter County, you are inside the jail. Like, you see people who are there for serious offenses, not reckless driving or racing on the freeway. Like, there were dudes there that I usually don't get, I don't get freaked out, okay? I usually don't. But Jesus Christ, I was sitting there like this. The whole time, I'm like, dude, get me the fuck out of this place. It was crazy. So, what's even crazier, you go down, you're in Potter County, it took a long time. Like, we didn't get out of there until, I think 11.30 at night, and we were there like at 2 or 2.30, something like that. It was a, it was a long day. Um, and we see people coming in and out, and I'm like, dude, we're like, I'm telling you, we're not supposed to be here. Like, you can see the showers, and I'm like, bro, I've seen plenty of movies, I'm not going in that fucking shower. Um, but the officers there, a few of them knew who I was, and they're reading the bond, and they're like, did you see this guy's bond? Like, yeah, like these are two $5,000 bonds for this. And they're like shaking their head and like, that's, that's, that's not right. Like they literally had a guy who got busted with meth the day I came in who had a bond for like $500. I'm like, how does that make any sense? But again, I'm not the one who writes those. I'm just the one being like, cool, that's what I have to pay. So. Um, I finally got out of Potter County and, you know, I've been now, so now I've been to jail three times. I've got four charges. I'm like, is this going to be a weekly thing? So for the next two months, probably, I'm sitting there like, are we going to, like every week, I'm like, am I going to get arrested? Am I going to get arrested? Um, even at the event, the Easter event that was the next day, I saw sheriffs drive by the gym, two of them. Before we started, nice and slow, 
because I, again, this is probably like a conspiracy thing, but I think that they were planning on trying to arrest me in front of everyone to make a statement. And uh, luckily I got it taken care of the day before, <clears throat> but it was just, it was one of those things that I'm like, is this actually happening? Like, this is crazy to me. Like, I was worried that I was gonna get arrested every single week, because I'm like, are they just gonna go through every single video that I have and just start throwing charges around? Like, because that's what it felt like for a long time. So, um, so yeah, I have three mug shots. I have uh, two in Randall County, I have one in Pollard County, so I'm sure if you Google my name, you'll see the mug shots, or I probably put them on the thumbnail. Um, the, the third, the second and third mugshot, I tried to like, you know, be a little more cleaned up because my first mugshot is so terrible, it is embarrassing, and it's on the internet forever. So, and I made a video about it, so it's definitely on the internet forever. So, um, that is how I got arrested three times in basically three weeks. And it's crazy because like I talked to my clients about it, and they're like, are you getting arrested this week? Like jokingly, and it's just like, God, I hope not. Like I've spent so much money and it's just like, are we going to do this every single week where I have to like check the website? And then finally I got to a point where obviously like I haven't, they've gone through everything they've gone through and that was it. But yeah, four charges later, two deadly conducts, one reckless driving and one uh, racing on the freeway. So those are the four charges that I got. So two were in Randall, two were in Potter County. Um, but yeah, I went to jail three times in three weeks. So um, that was the second part of it because a lot of people were like, "Wait, you got you went you went back to jail?" And I'm like, "Yes, yes, I did." So um, I don't plan on going back to jail ever again because that three times in uh, three weeks was plenty for my entire life. I'm totally good now. So. Um, Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, supporting anybody who's new to the channel. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you just watching the videos. So um, we've got a lot of good feedback and it's just, uh, I'm just out kind of giving my side of the story because I feel like anytime something bad happens to anybody, you only see what is out there. And more often than not, you never get to see the other side of it. So for me, I just wanted to tell you kind of what happened to me and how I feel. Like I'm, I'm pretty screwed up from it. I'll recover, I'll be fine. Um, but it's people like my wife who literally has nothing to do with anything and she's gonna be screwed up for a while. And that, that really sucks because, you know, it has nothing to do with her. You know what I mean? So that's the, that's the biggest thing that I regret. And like the other thing too is like, the video that I made of the cruise, it wasn't, like, I wasn't trying to get anybody else in trouble. And there was, like, seven or eight of us. So, it's not that I want, like, I didn't, like, when I was making the cruise video, it was nothing to, I wasn't trying to get everybody in trouble. And, like, luckily everybody in the video was super cool, but it's just, like, I apologize to everybody in that video because it's not, I never thought people would look back at my YouTube and we would get in trouble for going on a cruise. Like, I never thought that in a million years, <clears throat> but because otherwise I wouldn't have posted it, right? So it's just, um, I never want to put anybody else in a situation where they're in trouble because of me type of deal. So um, anyways, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if this video is long. It just, I just wanted to get it out. I've been holding this in for like eight months and um, you guys have been super awesome as far as like receiving the content. So. Um, that's it for my side of the story. Um, I'll get with Rachel sometime this week and I'll film that video for you guys. If you guys have any questions or whatever, if you wanna reach out to Rachel, you can follow her or message her on Instagram at Rachel Van Voris. If you wanna follow your boy, <laughs> you can follow me at CaliBoyKev on Instagram or Snapchat. Anyways, I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. My name is Kevin Van Voris. I'm out this bitch.